Okay. So part of the homework was next time chair goes away. Okay. Um, part of your homework was to write an equation for each of the pledge plans. The pledge plans are basically how they are raising their money. And there's three people here. We have the green person. Their pledge plan, if they go zero kilometers or they don't even show up for this walkathon, they still get five dollars. So their pledge plan, and I'm going to use the the dependent variable money raised. I'm going to use this as MR, and then dependent independent variable I'm going to use as D distance. So their pledge plan. Whoa. We don't need this anymore. Is it not constant? It is constant. No, it's constant. No, it's constant. Okay, so, hold on. So we have MR, which is my, whoop, NB. MR, which is my dependent variable. And John, this person makes $5 without going anywhere because they're getting a flat amount, a flat fee. Okay, a flat donation. Then, how much does the person in green get paid per kilometer? Zero. zero. So this is plus zero times D, which is the distance. Because if they go nine, they still make five dollars. So this is their equation right here. And I'm going to leave this up so you guys can use this later um, as a reference. You're going to meet, need to make different ones, but the money raised is going to equal a $5 plus $0 per distance. So zero times anything is going to be zero. So really it's just MR equals five. The money raised. On the black. Hi, this is Scott. No. We'll do? Okay. But Christina, you gotta go down the office. Okay. The black, my money raised. Talk to your partner. Did they get a flat donation and how do you know? Go. Talk to your partner about the black. But you can work with Avery. I'm sure answering question number one. No, this is different than the homework. Okay. Okay. Well, no, this is homework check. This is similar to the homework, but it's not the homework. Okay. So, Bryson, did they get a flat donation? Ooh, that's not bad. Because up here it does stay, right? Okay, Athena. They have a uh, combination of both where they have yep. something so they, if they don't run, they still have zero, but they're still getting money for each. Quarter. So yeah, they start with a $2 flat donation. That's why at zero kilometers, they start at two. Because cause they just got a $2 flat donation. Then... It is, it is a linear relationship after that. It's a straight line. So because it's a straight line, we know that there is a constant. So we know that they are getting paid something. There is some sort of um, variable there for the distance or some sort of consistent rate, sorry, with the distance. So this is where I need to learn how to read a graph. And if I go to one, this is going to tell me my unit rate. If I go to one, I go up. I end up right here, where that's where it hits the black line. I go over, and that's at right in the middle, which is 250. So if they started at two, and at one they're at 250, how much money did they get? 250 cents. They got what? 50 cents. 50 cents. So their rate is 0.5 per distance or per kilometer. 
So for every kilometer they run, they get 50 more cents, plus the $2 that they started with. Look, at one mile, two fifty. At two, three dollars. At three, three fifty. So it's going up by increments of fifty cents. And that change has to do with the rate. Here, the rate is zero. So there is no change, but that's the rate. The last one. I want to see if you can't figure this one out with your partner. We know that we're going to have money raised. It is the red line. Talk to your partner about what your equation is. Give you 30 seconds. Go. You know Allie? Okay. Going to Allie. Allie, on the red line, they're starting at zero. So do they have a do they get a flat fee? No. No. There's no flat fee here. They're not because they're starting at zero, all their money has to come from running or doing the walkathon. So what's their Yeah. So this is a two times D. And this is my equation. So each of these equations are linear. Each of these equations has a change. This one has a change of zero, which is a constant. This has a change of 0.5, which is a constant. This has a change of two, which is a constant. The constant makes it linear and makes it straight. So now that we've talked about why we started at 2 and why we started at 5 and why we started at 0, what does the point where the line crosses the y-axis mean? They all cross at the y at different points, but what does that mean? Talk to your partner. Mm -hmm. Huh? What does it mean when they cross at the Y? What means they have a Okay, I'm going to go to Kira. Fritzy. Hold on. Shh. Guys, give Fritzy your attention, please. What does it mean? Where they cross, it means something. What does that mean? Right, so, so if it crosses at zero, were they given any kind of flat donation? No. If it crosses at two, were they given a flat donation? Yes. Yes. If, they were crossing at, if it crosses at five, were they given a flat donation? Yes. Yes. So where it crosses means that they started with more, they started with money. Or they started with no money if it crosses at, at zero. Yeah. 